Well, joining me now is Republican Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana. Senator Cassidy, welcome back to Meet the Press. Hey, Chuck, thank you, and thank you for the honor of being on your last show. Well, I appreciate that. I'm going to start, actually, with the some of the news of the week, even on Friday, um, with the announcement by the former Speaker of the House that she's going to seek re-election, uh, and she's in her 80s. I want to start with a quote you gave a couple years ago on this issue to Axios. Here's the exchange. The Speaker of the House is 81. Wisdom comes with age, but the science is also clear that we aren't who we were, that we do lose um, things with age as a medical profession. Is that something we should be thinking about? Of course. At some point, and, and statistically it's in the 80s, you begin a more rapid decline. It's usually noticeable. So anybody in a position of responsibility who may potentially be on that slope, that is of concern. And I'm saying this as a doctor. I also want to clarify, you made it clear you were not judging any specific person there. You were making a generalization. What's interesting there, this is before we were debating Mitch McConnell, before we were debating Joe Biden and all of this. Does that still hold for you? Absolutely. By the way, I think Mitch McConnell's handled it perfectly. His doctor is releasing not just the test, but the results of the test. And, and with that, there is a transparency that allows people to move beyond a number, how old is the person, right. into what is actually the kind of science, if you will, the medical science of how to evaluate. And, and I think that should be the standard that folks are held to, and I think he's responded. You feel like you've got enough information um, from Senator McConnell? You do? You, I mean, you feel like you're getting an honest assessment here? I do. Okay. Uh, but the doctor is not lying. He's saying these are the tests that we've done and this mm -hmm. is the results we have. By the way, I also have the advantage of seeing not just a clip of him during 20 seconds, right. but him before and him after, and there he's quite clearly... What do you make of Senator Rand Paul's uh, questioning? He's not questioning McConnell, but he's questioning the doctor's diagnosis. Well, you know, I always say that I'm, an uh, I'm a gastroenterologist. He's an ophthalmologist. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not the internist who's doing the physical exam guiding. And mm -hmm. so you have to accept the limitations of training. What do you think? How do you think we should address this? The voters clearly have said one thing. And you have this. I mean, look, I get it. It's always hard to let go at the very end. Trust me, I'm, I'm aware of this myself. But what do you think is the driver here? Shouldn't there be transparency? Shouldn't President Biden, for example, release a full kind of neurologic evaluation of his cognitive ability uh, and whomever else? Uh, you pick the person that you've had. You want Mitch McConnell to do this? You want Joe Biden to do this? You want all of them to do this? Do, it, do what Mitch just did. There was total transparency. And so if, if somebody running for that kind of high office... I don't know if it's been full transparency and fairness. It's a letter from a doc. I mean, we, we don't know. We just know what this one doctor no, has No, he said. said, well, at some point you have to say, okay, wait a second. He said he had an EEG, an mm -hmm. MRI, or this or that or that or this, and they're all normal. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty good. Now, you may decide that the doctor is lying, right. but at some point you have to have faith in somebody. And um, I think if somebody who's not out of politics, being mm -hmm. honest, giving you the results of the test right. is a good start. It's one thing that voters should demand this. This is something that should be in the Constitution. Well, I don't know about the Constitution, but I think it should be certainly a House rule. Uh, well, we have House rules that get violated all the time, though. Uh, I you agree know. with that. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, I would be okay with that. Mm -hmm. I think if you want to be the President of the United States, uh, yeah. or a Senator or a House member, right. then there is a responsibility over and above that of just offering yourself. It has to be that you can show that you have clarity. Now, we can define what that means. Wouldn't it be nice to say, show us your tax returns and show us your medical uh, medical records? Is I, I that the way you think it would be, almost standardize both of those things? I actually think that that would be reasonable, too. Yeah. Uh, because if the, if the voter is going to make a decision, we need to give her as much yeah. information as we possibly can. All right, let's talk about the other craziness that this month may bring us. It, se it seems as if Speaker McCarthy is essentially trying to use dangle impeachment to stop a shutdown. I feel like you guys in the Senate, Republicans, are going, what are you guys thinking? What is your reaction to this strategy? You know, I, uh, you're guessing what's in his mind. I will not do. I will not go there. Fair enough. Um, uh, he's got a difficult, a difficult role to play, and I accept that too. Uh, now, if you treat each of those separately, would there be a reasonable thing that maybe Joe Biden was involved, or at least knew of Hunter trading upon the family name for personal enrichment? That is something that the American people should know about. Does that rise to an impeachment inquiry, or is that simply something that the Oversight Committee ought to be doing? Uh, uh, I'm not an attorney, and I'm not going to go there. In fact, mm -hmm. and, and I don't know the results of Congressman Comer's, which I think he's doing the service to the country, a, a good service. Okay. Um, I've not seen the, the documents that he wants, and I don't think he's seen them yet. So if you treat that separately, 
is there something where Hunter was trading upon his father's name and his father was enabling? Um, uh, that is something to know. Uh, on the other hand, uh, is it, do we need to pass a funding bill? Absolutely. Yeah. So hopefully they two can be considered separately. I don't know what Kevin's strategy is. Now, to go back on, on the impeachment thing, what you just described is, you know, Michael Kinsley once said, in Washington, it's not what's, uh, it's not what's illegal, it's what's legal that is sometimes uh, a crime. This stuff's perfectly legal. Well, I'm told that there is something of foreign agent rule where mm -hmm. somebody who is a re who's, who's registered as a foreign agent is not being totally transparent in mm -hmm. terms of how they're using this relationship. I'm also told it's difficult to enforce. Again, I'm not an attorney. But there's something about both the spirit and the letter of the right. law that I think the American people should know. Do we think we should have some sort of ethics code for relatives? I mean, we think about, Jer you know, every time I hear Hunter Biden, other people say, what about Jared Kushner? And I want to say yes. I agree with that. On the other hand, you can't deny somebody a, um, a, a right to earn a living, uh, to, right. to, to, to steal a phrase from another. They're not just a potted plant. My, my wife, for example, doesn't make any money what she's doing, but she's got a career independently of me. Do we want to kind of snuff that out? And she's an incredibly capable person. I, it, it, is, it is something that many professional couples run into, particularly in this town. Let's talk about the future of the party. You had been adamant for the last two years. When you ask the Trump question, you're like, He's not going to be the nominee. He's not going to be the nominee. Can you feel that comfortable declaring that now? Well, I'll, I'll say that I've not been quite so adamant recently. <laughs> okay. Uh, so he might be the nominee. Uh, and I think Mike Pence is trying to draw the, the contrast. Um, if, is there a populist future to our country, to our party, to the Republican Party, or mm -hmm. is there a non-populist? Uh, populism has a role, but I think now, President, the, the, the populism has come to the point where uh, the, the, if you look at a poll of the American people, most don't like it. You come from a state where populism led to corruption pretty quickly. Uh, that's true. In its history. When I think of Huey Long, Edwin Edwards, you can go through, through the line. Populism but, goes to corruption fast. But think about the purpose of populism. When the elites come up with a policy set, which is mm -hmm. separate and different from that which the people actually feel needs, meets their needs, mm -hmm. that has to be addressed. And so there is a role for that sensitivity to what the people want. I am totally in favor of that. What I don't like is when you tell people just what they want to hear, even if it's not true. Right. You know I've been very focused on Social Security. I know, yeah. We've got two candidates who are telling the American people that which they wish to hear, not that which is true. Because of that, Social Security, if it goes insolvent, as it's predicted to, will result in a 24% cut in benefits for those receiving. So to, for a candidate to tell the American right. people there's no problem, that's populism going awry. Uh, in... Uh February of 2021, you decided that Donald Trump was unfit to ever hold federal office again. Your vote for convict said that as much. Um, you've answered this question very carefully in the past, which you said you plan to support a Republican. If he is the nominee, can you vote for him? I know, I know where you are in Biden. Can you vote for Trump? Um, you know... We're keeping our streak alive. Every time we've met, you've asked me about this. I understand that. <laughs> well, it, it's, I don't know why, why isn't it an easy answer? Well, because I'm going to vote for a Republican. Yes, I am. Uh, but you might have to write it in? Uh, might have to write it in. What about the snow labels? You've been showing up at their events. You were even said that if, you know, people have pointed out you were once a Democrat. So in some ways, you could some, perhaps be somebody they would look to to bridge the divide. Is that something you, that would appeal to you? Um, depending upon who the candidates were. We're Trump's looking at Biden and Trump. Yeah. And is that suddenly appealing? If, if, they came and, if they came and spoke to me, I would certainly speak to them back. Sounds like you are, are you already speaking with them? I am not. You're not? Is it, but it is something you'd be open to. Yes, put it this way. 70% of the American people want something different. Plausibly, we could have a setting in which someone has been convicted and someone else shows signs of mental decline mm -hmm. so significant, 70% of the American people are already thinking that he's too old. He is not being transparent like some are in terms of revealing the test. There is an actual need to know what's going on and we're not being told. With this, should there be another option for the American people? And I think plausibly there should be. Senator Bill Cassidy, you lived up to exactly uh, how I build it, which is... You're never afraid to answer a question, even if you don't like it. Thanks Thank for coming you, on and sharing your perspective. Appreciate it.